Hello everyone, Rex here and welcome to Let's Play 999, 9 Hours, 9 Persons, 9 Doors. This is the first game in the Zero Escape series and I'm very excited to bring it to my channel. You guys want, voted for this overwhelmingly and I'm excited to start this. Uh, so for those unfamiliar, the Zero Escape series is a series of visual novels with a lot of puzzle elements, dark themes, quite similar to Danganronpa and uh, you know what, let's just uh, start a new game here. Uh, I will be playing with Japanese voice acting, so just keep that in mind. Um, if that is an issue for you, then, well, now you know. Uh, we'll do slot one, that should be fine. And of course, the game is fiction. There's two modes of play, novel and adventure. Okay, cool. Opening cutscene. Nine, eight, seven. Counting down. Some big towers. Six, five, four. No, that that's a ship. Okay, so a big ship. Gotcha. Three, two, one, zero. And the ship blew up okay a loud noise startled Junpei awake and his eyes snapped open <laughs> as they adjusted the light he realized that he didn't recognize that went way too fast with a crack Junpei's head connected with something metal he rolled over and threw out his hand to steady himself but he found himself groping in empty air <laughs> His balance lost, and his still fuzzy mind struggling to understand what was going on, Junpei tumbled down to the cold grey floor. ぐらぐらする。うちどころが悪かったか。いや、違うな。地震にしては陽気に小刻みな揺れ方だよな。で、そんなことより。ここは一体どこなんだ。that's good right hmm I don't hear anything go yeah a five in either creepy red paint or blood not sure what it means. ひらかないか。なんだこれ。この装置が扉のロックを制御してるってことか。うん。seems like it. こう。同じだ。扉の数字と。な、これどうやって外すんだ。この横に出張ってんの。こいつを押せばいいのか。くそ、反応がない。腕から無理やり引っこ抜くしかないか。And why do I hate watches so much? Hmm. 
Those were some quick flashes. Hmm. Well, hopefully not the ship we just saw getting blown up. That would be bad, I think. Uh-oh. That can't be good. That's definitely bad. Seek a way out. Third class cabin. So this is an overview of the room. Um, so yeah, we, we get these escape scenes where you're locked in a room and you need to find a way to escape. Now, I think this is a good point to say this won't be a complete blind playthrough. As in, I have played one of the endings, I think, or was it two endings? One or two of the endings, but I've never seen the true ending. So that will be completely blind for me. So a few of the puzzles will maybe ring a few bells although it's been several years since i last played it so a lot of the details are going to be pretty vague but uh yeah I i'm excited to finally play through this game and we will be playing all of the endings if i can because uh that that just seems cool to me and i really want to know what the true ending of the game is so let's uh let's learn about operations during an escape you're restricted to an area your goal is to search around to uncover how to unlock the door there are items and hints in the room that will help you escape. Use the cursor to select the location you find suspicious to search the room. Use left button or right button to walk around the room. Left stick controls. Move the left stick during an escape to use the cursor. Press X to speed up the movement. Press A to search where the cursor is placed. Okay, so we can move around our cursor. It's already plenty fast. Um, so this looks bad. Water just keeps pouring through the window. It's like a waterfall. I don't think shoving something into the window is going to stop the water. If we don't want to die, I need to find a way out of this room. Yeah, okay. So we can't really expect to just escape there. Uh, there's a sink here with a picture. Once you've obtained an item, you'll be able to go to the item screen. Pressing Y will take you into the item screen. Okay, so we have a picture frame here. And we can rotate it around, which is pretty cool. And we can get some info on it. An old picture frame. There's a picture of a ship in it. There's screws keeping the back on. Oh, interesting. So, there is a combine. So, I think if we get a screwdriver, we can maybe get it loose. Investigate with an item. This item, visible in the lower left, is the item currently in hand. When you close the item screen, the last select item will be in hand. If you hold an item while investigating, you may trigger a reaction. Try switching out items and search different places. Press the up on the D-pad to quickly change between items. Okay. I don't want to have anything in my hand. Okay, now I don't have anything. Let's see, note from bulletin board. There's nothing on the back. And the front has... Uh, the rotation is a little bit odd, to be honest. But it has an arrow from red to blue with four triangles. Okay. A bulletin board. There's nothing on it. Nothing on top of the shelf anymore. And nothing on the sink. The only drain in the room. A towel next to the sink. Doesn't really do anything. And that seems to be everything here. So let's go back. Um, let's move to the right. Oh, there's a suitcase here. No dice, it's locked tight. Let's see if there's anything in the keyhole. Hmm, a four-digit code and a small keyhole. So we need to find a key and probably also figure out 
what the code could be. So that's going to be for later. Well, it's already up to the bottom of the bed. Ooh, yeah, I see. It's it's kind of high already. Okay. Wait, what? There's nothing useful here. There's a pipe at the other end. There's nothing on top. But didn't it say something about the pillow? Or did I misread that? Hmm. Must have misread it. There's a blue briefcase. Okay. What about this kettle? Okay, we can investigate it. Oh, hey, we can remove the lid. And hey, looks like there is a key. Yep, that's a key, a little blue key. Cool. So we have three items now. Doesn't look like there's anything else there. Okay. This is the door to the stove. Opens easily enough. But yeah, the door to leave here doesn't. Ooh. It looks red. Nice, a screwdriver. Okay, let's combine that with this. And here's the picture. Okay, picture of an old cruise liner. And it has a bunch of triangles and squares on the back. With numbers. So does each... Does each triangle represent a number? And there's opened and closed ones. Um, so let's see. What we had was from left to right, it was filled in, not filled in, filled in, not filled in. So let's see. That would then be a seven first, right? Yeah, like, like, uh, okay. So the corner is at the top left, bottom right, and then bottom left, top right. Okay. So that would be seven for the first one. And then the opposite of a seven would be a four. So seven, four. Um, then it would be six, three, seven, four, six, three. Okay. And we can combine two items. Yeah. Okay. Actually, let me check if that's the code here and if we can put the blue thing in. Um, oh, didn't mean to do that. Looks like we're going to put the key. Okay. Can we put that in? Nice. Nothing? Oh, okay. Minigames. During an escape, your investigation may trigger one of several minigames. They're done by left stick and A. Okay, to manipulate something or apply the right object or press the right thing. Okay, yeah. Okay, if the numbers are correct, they will unlock. I figured as much. So I want seven, four, six, and three, I think. Try. Hmm. That didn't work. Yeah. Don't freak out. Keep it cool. Look around for some more clues. Maybe we did something wrong. Uh, we can go into our items again, right? Yeah, that definitely looks like it's correct, right? Yeah, that's a seven. That looks like a four. It looks like a six and it looks like a three. Can we combine these two? No, we cannot. Okay. Maybe there's more clues. I'll have to look around a little bit more. Okay, that's back there. So there's only a couple of screens in the entire thing. I can reach this bunk. Might as well look through it. Huh. Nothing here. Okay, that's a shame. There's a ladder. It's not gonna help us. Ooh, pillow. Ooh, hello. And that is another memo. Hmm. And this has some other things. Can we combine these two? We're not allowed to. What if... Oh, since we used the blue key. What if we need these two shapes first. And then these two blue shapes. And we ignore all the red ones. Because we don't have a red key. Okay, so in that case. A filled in square is zero. Then top left open is two so zero two six three zero two six three let's try that uh yeah 
zero, two, six, three. Nice, there we go. All right, let's see if this number's working. Hey, looks like it's working. All right, let's open it up. But what's gonna be in here? It opened. There's something in here. What is it, a file? If you find any documents or notes, the information containing them will be available on the file screen. Press right on the D-pad to open the file screen. Okay, let's see what's in this file. Digital root. Let's see here. Compute a digital root with the following steps. First, add all the numbers in question to one another. Okay. If you end up with something greater than a single digit number, add the digits to one another. So say we do like six plus seven is 13 then we need to add one plus three and we get four that's a single digit so we are done okay i i think i get the idea then right keep adding digits until you have a single digit answer okay and that's your digital root interesting okay so six seven eight would be six plus seven is 13 plus eight would be 21 which means 2 plus 1 is 3. Yeah, okay. Digital root is 3. Okay. And digital root of 1, 2, 3, 4, that would be 10 is 1 plus 0 is 1. Yeah. Okay, cool. So we're going to have to do some math here, but that should be fine. I just keep adding numbers until I get a single digit. Oh, it looks like there's something on the back of this thing. A notebook, a pen, a calculator, and a stack of key cards. Okay, so we have a stack of blue key cards. There's a number written on each card. Six, seven, and eight. Interesting. And a calculator. We can do left to open a calculator. It can calculate a digital root. Okay. So you don't have to do the calculation yourself. Huh. That, that's pretty cool, actually. And we had six, seven, and eight. Digital root is three. Okay. And six and eight give a digital root of five. Okay. Um, I think we've checked most of everything. Let's check the door now. So we have this weird thing. It's cards with numbers on them. I'm pretty sure this is where I'm supposed to use them. Hmm, it's not working. Why? Okay, do I need some other cards to get into this to work? Well, maybe. And the door is not opening. Five, what does that mean? Well, that's probably gonna be that we need the digital root of five or something. Oh, hey, we can check this as well. Oh, and there's a red key here. Interesting. I didn't sleep too well. Yeah, what exactly happened? Oh, I don't know. 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 I There's that creepy face again. I 
I don't like those kinds of games. Way too stressful to put my life on the line. That's a fair point. お前は選ばれたのだ。得意わけがわかんねえよ。目的も何も。なんで俺なんだよ。That is very weird. Okay, uh, nothing left in the mirror. Wait, is there... Could we open this briefcase with a red key as well? No, that doesn't do anything. So I guess we're just gonna keep the red key. Because I don't think there was anything else here. Hmm. It doesn't look like there's anything else here. So... I guess we have all the items, a light up there and electricity. Okay. So let's see. We have our stack of blue cards. We need some different cards. Where am I gonna get different cards? Oh, hey, here's something else. Ah, another suitcase. And likely we're gonna need another four digit code if I look at that. Um, so this time we would want the red combination, which is, let's see, seven, seven, four. Okay. Seven, four, eight, seven, four, eight. Eight five, I think. Yeah. Okay, so this should be the same. And then we need another code. Okay, so seven four eight five, I said. Seven four eight five. Yeah, nice. I unlocked it. Right, well, let's open it up and huh, that gives us more cards, red key cards. One, two, and three, interesting. And one plus two is three, plus three is six. So that doesn't really work. What if, can we combine this with the other key cards? We cannot. Hmm. Doesn't look like there's anything else in there. Okay, but we have more cards now, right? What if we... Oh. What if we use a stack of red key cards here? No, not again. There aren't any more cards in here. I've only got one other hint. The files. The files said something about a digital root. The digital root. What am I supposed to do with? There's a five on that door. Do I have to get a digital root of five? It's worth a shot. Let's see if this works. I'll cite the cards that give me the digital root of five through the reader. Okay. So we can select three cards. And the digital root of the selected cards... Okay. And if you select three cards, select the device. Okay. So... Digital root of five means for example 14 that would be 8 plus so 7 plus 6 plus hmm 7 plus 6 is 13 plus 1 is 14 so yeah that will work yeah there we go nice I think this is gonna work there we go that's a new noise huh did it just unlock? Well, light was red, now it's blue. No doubt about it. There's nothing keeping me in here now. Time to go.
We completed our first escape room, I think. And I'm pretty okay with that. You found it.